So you wanna move into tech and earn fat stacks of cash? Well, here's a list of the most in-demand tech certifications ranked by highest salary. This list has met strict requirements. Firstly, each certification must be in an area of technology that is growing in demand, so you know your investment is gonna pay off. Secondly, each certification must be globally recognized. No matter where you're located, these certifications are recognized by local companies. Thirdly, each certification must be something that employers actually value so that you don't waste your time or money getting a cert that employers don't care about. And as a bonus, each certification must have online learning resources available from three or more of the most popular learning platforms. So you know that you can get the skills you need at the price that you can afford and learn at the pace that makes sense for you. At the very top of the list is Microsoft certified Azure Solutions Architect Expert. People with the certification can expect to earn an average of $152,000 per year. This cert is for professionals who are pretty advanced at designing cloud and hybrid solutions using Microsoft Azure. If you decide to go for it, make sure you've got a solid grasp of DevOps, governance, networking, security, and virtualization. Oh, and don't forget, you need to have a prerequisite certification like Microsoft Azure Administrator or Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. To actually get the certificate, you'll have to pass both the Microsoft Azure Architect Design and Microsoft Azure Architect Technologies exams. So there's a bit of work here, but eventually you'll get to the Solutions Architect Expert level. Coming in in second place is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. Successful AWS Certified Solutions Architects are earning an average of $148,000 per year. If you got hands-on experience with AWS and you're used to architecting big, complex systems, this certification could be a game changer for your career. To snag this certification, you've got to pass the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam. And of course, some relevant training is recommended. AWS also suggests having at least a year of hands-on experience designing AWS systems before you tackle the exam. It's an 80 minute test. Not bad. Number three on the list is the Nutanix Certified Professional Multi-Cloud Infrastructure. If you pass the exam, you could be looking at an average salary of 147,000. Not bad, right? Nutanix is a fast growing company and they offer a bunch of cloud solutions like data management, hybrid clouds, multi-cloud setup, and even desktop as a service for supporting hybrid work. Most of these services are powered by Nutanix's special AOS cloud platform technology. Getting this cert proves you can handle set up and troubleshoot AOS instances in Nutanix's enterprise cloud. Once you're certified, you'll be a pro at managing AOS network blocks, clusters, nodes, and using Nutanix's Prism Element tool to handle virtual infrastructure. To get that certification badge, you'll have to pass the Nutanix multi-cloud infrastructure exam, which has 75 questions and can be taken remotely. Nutanix is pretty cool. They even provide learning resources to help you prepare. We're headed back over to Amazon with this fourth certification. The AWS certified security specialty could earn you an average salary of $146,000. Like that's serious cash. So this new certification is like the perfect combo of cloud computing and security. But before you can even think about tackling this one, Amazon suggests that you should have around five years of experience in a security gig with at least two of those years focused on securing AWS stuff. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. This is a real challenge. To nail this certification, you've gotta know the ins and outs of the security features in the AWS world. That means understanding things like shared responsibility model, security controls, logging and monitoring strategies, and how to keep AWS workloads safe using third-party tools like backups, encryptions, and access controls, among other things. But if you manage to pass the exam, you'll be all set to take on a security architect role at any AWS shop pretty cool. Have you heard about Google Professional Cloud Architect Certification? It's fifth on our list and it's great for cloud professionals. Google Certified Professional Cloud Architects are pulling in an average of $139,000 annually. This certification is all about making you a top-notch architect on the Google Cloud platform. Once you've got it, you have the skills to design, develop, and manage resources on Google Cloud using GCP technologies. Getting this certification means diving deep into Google's tech solutions and figuring out how to use them in various cloud situations. Cloud skills are seriously in demand, and if your organization is all about GCP, mastering Google's tools for reliable and secure solutions is a big deal. Another one from Google, ranking sixth on our list, 
is the Google Cloud Cloud Digital Leader. Tech professionals with this certification have an average salary of $138,000, nearly $139,000. The cool thing is this course is designed for business people. I guess if you're technical, you could get this one too. You don't need any technical background to start. In fact, it's probably better if you're somewhat new to cloud technology. Once you finish this course, you'll have a solid grasp of what Google Cloud offers and how it can help with digital transformation. Just make sure you go in with a good understanding of your company's products, services, and the industry, and you'll come out knowing how Google Cloud can boost your company's success. Another reason you might wanna pursue this cert is because you're a consultant. So to pass the Cloud Digital Leader exam, you'll need to show that you really understand Google's cloud services and how they can benefit businesses. This means knowing about things like application modernization, digital transformation, operations, and security. The world of information security is more critical than ever. Ranking seventh on our list is the CISM certificate. Your role will be designing and engineering security protocols and taking charge of the company's overall IT security. The cool part is that as a CISM, you'll get to work with different parts of the business beyond IT, which means you'll be interacting with company stakeholders directly. CISMs are bringing home some serious cash. You can expect an annual paycheck of $131,000. That's not bad for keeping our digital world safe. If you're planning on getting CISM, you must have five years experience in information security with at least three years of information security management experience and three or more of the CISM domains. If you're in the world of security analysis, auditing, systems engineering, or anything in between, the Certified Information Systems Security Professional could be your golden ticket. This cert ranks number eight on our list and could bring you an average annual paycheck of $124,000. One of the hottest security certifications out there, these are the folks who typically call the shots when it comes to security aspects of the IT organization's overall architecture, controls, and management. But here's the kicker. To even think about taking the test, you need a minimum of five years worth of relevant experience under your belt. Not bad, right? Oh, and here's a catch. Even after you get the certification, you'll still need to earn continuing education credits each year to keep current. Tough requirement, but it's one of the reasons why employers are so crazy for people who have the certification. Number nine on the list is the PMP. Certified PMPs are landing an average of $123,000 per year. And if you move up the ladder into senior management, which many PMPs do, those numbers can get even juicier. Although not as valuable as it once was, it's still highly desired and highly paid. Before you can even think about the exam, you've got to complete at least 35 hours of training related to project management. If you've got a bachelor's degree, you'll also need 4,500 hours of project management experience. And if you don't have a degree, it's 7,500. To get this cert, you're going to be tested on all five basic project lifecycle stages, initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling, and closing. And the final cert on this list goes to the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional Certification. The AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional Certification is paying off big time with an average annual salary of $118,000. Now, before you can even think about taking the exam, you need some serious AWS skills. At least two years of experience working with AWS, including being best pals with the command line interface. You should also have a good grip on at least one scripting language be an expert with AWS APIs and consoles, and be comfortable with both Linux and Windows. Oh, and don't forget about AWS best practices. You need to know those like the back of your hand. Plus, you should be able to provide design and deployment guidance that lines up with business goals. So if you like these types of lists, let us know in the comments what else you'd like to see.